What's up everyone, welcome to today's video, welcome to the Video Game Fight School channel, thank you very much for tuning in. We have something to talk about today that I think is quite interesting, because we're now getting a little bit more of uh, knowledge surrounding this particular question, which is the character switching in Spider-Man, Miles Morales versus Peter, how you're going to move between both characters in Spider-Man 2. Eurogamer got their hands on an, uh, you know, an answer to that, actually. They had an exclusive interview with Brian Intihar, and he basically shared exactly what the game is going to be showing regarding this mechanic, how it's going to be used in context, and so on and so forth. Now, I have read the answer, but I thought it would be appropriate that we do a little bit of a throwback. Today's Thursday, so why don't we go ahead and throw back to the GOAT of superhero games. I know Spider-Man has sales, but they have the same Metacritic score, and the director said they took inspiration from here, so it's the GOAT. So in the Arkham City game, you actually could do a switch to character. Now, it wasn't as seamless as we saw in Miles Morales, but Rocksteady was able to take a system like this, and if you just come into any of these locations that were available on the map, you could switch from Bruce to uh, Miss Kyle. This was very interesting because... I thought it was a very, you know, weird thing to see in a video game, even though, you know, uh, uh, Selena Kyle played uh, kind of a minimal role in the game. It was pivotal. Don't get me wrong, but it was minimal. And I think this is the blueprint for, you know, what they're going with. I think when Brian Interhar says we looked at the Arkham games, he's not over -ex exaggerating, nor is he actually downplaying it. This game seems to have had systems like this in place now. I get it. It's not the seamless switch that we're going to have on the PlayStation 5, but it is something that was already there. Now, let's go ahead and look at the Eurogamer article. And sorry that I went ahead and, uh, you know, made it a little window. I just thought that would be more appropriate for, you know, uh, production value or whatever it is. So what is the question that was asked by Miss uh, Kennedy, Victoria Kennedy uh, is the person who actually wrote this article. And they said, they asked, can we only switch characters at certain points or we will be able to switch between them freely? Apparently, the answer is very simple in the sense that when you're playing in the story mode, they want you to switch between Peter and Miles in specific areas. So they've designed some story beats surrounding Peter. They've designed some story beats surrounding Miles. This makes sense. Now, let's go ahead. Maybe we'll read it verbatim just to, you know, for clarity if anybody is listening. So I think Brian responds and says, when you're playing the main story, we control when you switch between Pete and Miles. And so it's done in service to the story when we're making those switches for sure. Spider-Man 2's creative director, and this is the uh, reporter writing, Brian Interhar told Eurogamer in an exclusive interview, so... As you saw on that gameplay reveal, so this is Brian speaking, which is a segment of the main story, we're predetermining those based on what we want to do for how the story plays out. Now, he also goes ahead to say, we've designed, uh, we have content designed around Peter, we have content designed around Miles, and when we have, and we have content where you can play either. Intihar shared, you'll be able to, in the open world, freely switch between them with a simple button press. This is thanks to the power of the PlayStation 5. So Intihar doesn't say this is thanks to the power of the PS5. This is the um, reporter that actually said this. Uh, dear reporter, calm down with the editorial and the PS5 hyping. We already saw that even with much limited machines, you could simulate a switch in location. Now, here's the big question that a lot of people are probably also looking at is, is it going to be a thing where you can not you can, uh, you know, switch characters in a situation where you can do it not only in character, but also in location? That's also another layer of the questioning, which we might be able to get some tidbits here. So being able to switch in the open world so quickly between the two characters, and this is Brian speaking, is really, really awesome. Intihar smiled. Again, Intihar is quoted saying, just being able to pick and choose who I want to play as for a certain activity. It's been so awesome to have that feature, something we probably wouldn't have explored previously. So this is pretty much what's going on. And Brian goes ahead to continue in this article, by the way, because there's a lot to be shared here. So the uh, edit editorial and the editor of this article basically goes ahead to say, additionally, this character switching will all tie in with Spider-Man uh, 2's three skill trees, one for Pete, one for Miles, and one that is shared. Again, this is probably alluding to the fact that we're pro probably going to be seeing both of them use possible Venom moves. Maybe. We'll see. Then it says, we want to make sure that you that when you do switch between the heroes, there's a sense of familiarity. They're both Spider-Man. You know how to play the game, but you still have that flexibility and that customization for upgrading each of them with their skill trees. Spider-Man 2's game director, Ryan Smith, elaborated. 
This is also, this is, so this is Ryan Smith. This is the games director actually saying this. So apparently they got this interview with both of them. So this is pretty cool to see. Um, I don't know why I called Intahar the game director. I think he has a different role. So this is Ryan, the game director. So Intahar might be the creative director or the game pr the producer or something. I don't know. I need to look that up. We saw, and this is quoting, um, I think this is quoting another person in the studio there. We saw in the gameplay where Miles has evolved Venom powers, whereas Peter has a symbiote abilities. And so those, uh, those change a bit of how you play, and you can upgrade those in their respective trees as well. So this is actually pretty cool. Now, this, uh, this uh, editor or this uh, reporter, sorry, wrote and asked, I asked if there will be a chance to perhaps switch to other characters, such as the reporter and Peter's girlfriend, MJ. Nobody wants that, Victoria. Trust me. But I was quickly told I needed to keep focus on last week's gameplay. Ah, well, I tried. I strongly believe that we might be seeing, uh, you know, other characters being playable in this Spider-Man 2 game. I think this is the culmination of bringing a lot of other characters into the mix. And this development team seems like they really want to go that route. They seem like this is the direction that they want to go when it comes to just wowing fans and making sure that everyone, you know, is able to experience a wide variety of characters. Now, if they don't do it, it will be a miss, in my opinion. Why I say that is because they've been able to iterate the two Spider-Man characters over time, adding the Venom abilities and evolving their skills should be something that probably would have come naturally, building on the foundation blocks, and then moving from there into, say, coding other characters should not have necessarily been a big uh, challenge for them, judging by the expertise that they have. But again, production constraints is something that we have to be sensitive to when we're making these requests or, you know, these wish lists. But I feel like, you know, for their prowess and the expectations that we've come to, you know, uh, set or the expectations that they've basically uh, set themselves on that pedestal of, it's not out of the question to say, maybe we can play as Black Cat. Maybe we can play as Wraith. Maybe we can play a different character within the game. Who knows? But we'll look forward to seeing what's going on. I appreciate you guys for taking the time to watch the video. Let me hear your thoughts in the comment section, and hopefully we'll talk pretty soon in another one. Peace out.